Okay, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to talk about named slots. But before I begin, I do have a Patreon. If you want to support me or like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. So with named slots, basically what you can do is give yourself multiple slots in one component. And normally you just have a slot. So there's like one slot like this. And then whatever you put inside this component will be put into that slot. So right now there's nothing. But if I say SDF, then it'll be right there. Uh, and that's just a normal slot. So then you can't put anything here and here. So with name slots, you can. So here I have three different slot or three different divs, and I want to put a slot inside each of each one of them. And you might be thinking, like here I'm passing colors, and it's zero, one, two. You might want to do a each or a for loop, but you can't do that with slots. You need to. So I can't do an each loop here because then I would have to dynamically give each slot a name, which you can't do. So you have to write out every single slot and give it a name, uh, and that's that. So for example, I would have like slot, and then I would give it a name, name equals, I'm gonna call it first, because this color could be anything, so I'm just gonna call it first like that. So now I can come here, and I can, so you will have to have some kind of um, element, and you'll say slot equals first. Okay, so this div will go into this first one. So uh, pale turquoise, everyone's favorite color, uh, really hard to spell. Pale turquoise. Okay, so then it'll go right there. Then if you want to put something in here, it's just a similar thing. Div slot equals second. Slot equals third. Okay, so that's pretty much everything. I'm going to keep typing this out, but I've basically gone it over everything there is to this. Dark salmon. So I'm going to create a slot here. Slot. Oh, well, there is another thing, which is... So there. Um, you can have two. So I could paste this again and have one, two. So now I have two things calling slot second, and they're both inside there. If I copy and paste this one and put it up here, then that'll come before that one. Okay. And you can even add like styles. So background or um, style equals background, um, or maybe just color white, like that. And you can pass in any type of element, whatever you want. Um, I haven't tried this, but let me see if this works. So let's say the style, and let's call this pale turquoise uh, class equals big. And I assume this will work, but not sure. Big font size to rem. Okay, so now it's big, cool. So it'll get passed into that slot and it'll have the name and you can have it Right there. So let's see if I deleted that and put this in this style here. If that'll work, probably not. So if I have big here, even though this is being passed in with class of big, it won't see it in here. So that's that kind of makes sense. You know, just have your styles in here. Okay, so that's how you have your slot, your name slots. You could add a third one, slot equals third, and it would come in here. And that's all there is to it. All right, bye.